Hey, this is Heidi Caswell again with Blogging 101 for Boomers, and we're going to continue on with adding pages and posts. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do the, uh, the, the list, this ordered list, and then we're using these two things right here. Let me show you two ways to do that. Okay, over here on the service page, I listed uh, uh, four different options here, and we're going to go ahead and do them. Let's, let's, just, let's go ahead and go with a... Um, this is the list which just got to the um, numbers there. This works best if I type the words after each one. Let me go ahead and just cut and paste so I have them there. Hit enter and then you put in the new words. Way. It works better typing it in. That gives you an idea of how it works. Now let's say you're wanting to, instead, you're wanting to um, number them. Before I go into numbers, I'm going to show this other way. I can actually, if I have the list already, written, the words already written there, and I want to turn them into a list, I can just highlight it and then hit that button, and then I can go down to the next set of words, highlight them, and just them. Don't highlight anything. And then hit it, and that will do that. Okay, you can see here that I have a list here. So if you're not typing them in, highlight the words and then hit that. Let's go ahead and change them to an ordered list. Okay, since the words are already here, let me go ahead and try highlighting them. And then we're going to hit ordered list. I don't know if it's going to continue on with the numbers here, which is great for us. Yeah, it seems I have a new one there. Let me try something right there. Let me move it up one. See? Yeah, now it's part of the same one that's going to be using this number. So that way you can go ahead and have things numbered, like maybe you got steps uh, 6, 4, and what steps 1, 2, 3, and 4. That way you can go ahead and put them in that way. I'm going to go ahead and show what it looks like over here on the side. Okay, I'm over here on the WordPress services page. And you can see uh, a list with numbers, a numbered list. That would be good for instructions and steps. And then you have the one that's just got the little squares and bullets of this. Now these things and shapes can be changed in the CSS and the spelling, but for right now, for getting starting, just use what's already there and you're seeing and go with it. Okay, now there's other things you can do with yours. Let me go back to this other page. Okay, and as you can tell here, uh, when we had tried to um, put your like your voice heard, you use as a quote. It didn't show up as a quote on the other page. Uh, you have to do the same settings like I do with quotes. And some do nothing but quotes, and some make them look the same as everything else. Now, I'm going to show you how you can change some of the things on it. You can highlight, you, you know, you go ahead and add quotes on either side. I don't know that I really need quotes there. It's not really a quote, but you can put that there. And since it wasn't showing up the other way, if you wanted a tally, always go back and add your tally. But the other thing you can do is make sure it shows up in the middle. If you hit this, this centers it. It centers the text in the center. And you can do that with your pictures and other things on your page. Okay, I'm not sure how centered the center is with this thing, but it's somewhat there centered. Uh, this is over here. Uh, let me show you the other option. This is normal, that one there. That puts it all just fine, makes all the lines start over on the left side. And make sure it just fits in. It's not moving because it still shows it as quote. I think that's one of the issues. Maybe I can get it to un undo a quote there since the quote is really showing up with this thing. Okay, I got the quote lock. And it's always on that side there. You go ahead and move it. And move it. You can also have things right to the side, but all the things lined up on the right side. And that's how you would do that. Enjoy and have fun moving your words around.